Hey everybody, welcome to a, I guess, an impromptu musing by me. So as we go into, I guess, the end of the first week of quarantine from COVID here in uh, the UK, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about overwhelm, stress, overwhelming feelings, feeling like it's getting a little bit too much. And that might actually be quite prevalent for a number of us as we go through the self-quarantine over the, <clears throat> the next few weeks. I guess it's important not to lose sight of what's going on. Like a lot of the stress and the overwhelm that we can feel actually goes on between our ears. It is tempting to let our thoughts get carried away with us, to begin to hypothesize and to begin to think about stuff that's gonna happen that is based on so many variables and so many non-facts, or as Trump would say, alternative facts, that um, it, it, it might begin to cloud our thinking. But what we need to actually do is to begin to break it down. Take a step back. Take a step back and just have a think about what it is that you're feeling overwhelmed about. Is it paying the bills? Is it where your revenue is going to come from uh, if your business has been affected by COVID? Is it the worry about a loved one? Is it actually just making sure that you can make ends meet or, or get some food for, for you or somebody less fortunate? That the point is, if you take a step back and just um, take a breath and begin to properly understand exactly where you stand it might actually help <clears throat> so what can you do write a list of everything that is making you feel overwhelmed or stressed some of those will be controllable and some of them won't <clears throat> but it's really important that you, you you don't overthink something that isn't isn't important there's a big difference between important and urgent and, and i'm not suggesting that we go into that now but take a step back write down exactly all that is worrying you and just identify those that you can begin to tackle straight away. We've talked in the past about what could go wrong lists, and that's really the chance of actually saying, can I control it? Some of it we can, and some of it we can't. I'm very aware that in, in the, the current age where the world is being bombarded by the, the, the terrible coronavirus, that some of us are more fortunate than others. Some of us have some outdoor space and some don't. Some of us are key workers and putting ourselves on the front lines for the benefit of the good of the, the, the whole populations and to them, uh, I'm truly thankful. But there's a lot that you can do. Find your, find your space. Give yourself that time just to reflect. I personally found it really difficult actually um, over the last couple of weeks because the time that I had for myself was the hours trip to the gym in the morning uh, for the commute. It was the workout time that was really massively important to me. It just allowed me to center and get and get straight with with what was important for today. Then the commute home, you know, also, sorry, I'm just having some camera issues. Uh, also, then the, the journey home uh, allowed me to decompress. All of those have gone now. So it's easy to get cooped up and uh, and, and really battle. And, and I, I can identify with that. But what can we do? So steps for today. One. Take a breath, take a step back and just think about um, what's, what's happening. Write something down. It might not feel like much, but writing it down or, or speaking it out loud can either make you feel very silly uh, if, if you're worrying about something that seems slightly less trivial or can actually help you share that problem. Then begin to identify which ones you can go after. In the current age where uh, it, it, we're restricted by what we can do, there's a limit to that. But some of it we can do. Can we do some reading? Can we uh, invest in ourselves? Can we do some personal development? Can we phone somebody that actually might be feeling lonely, uh, isolated or, or worried? Reach out to people. Make sure that in the current age that we're over communicating. It's easy to get lost in your own thoughts, but if you begin to uh, follow these steps, it will begin to make life a little bit better. Ultimately, it is gonna be hard. I think it would be unfair to tell you that, that, that it isn't. But if, it, a bit like I have the, the, the phrase when I talk, um, when I'm training is train hard, race easy. The way that translates to the current day is, you know, it's gonna be hard. But doing the hard stuff first, as Mark Twain said, eat the frog. It will actually mean that, you know, the rest of it will be easier as it comes. I, I'm not a, a doctor or a specialist or anything like that. I'm merely just saying, I, I know where you're coming from. I'm cooped up in, in, a, in, in a relatively small flat, um, <clears throat> enjoying my uh, outdoor space once a day and, and, and trying to get on with the world. But I'm very aware that there are plenty less fortunate 
and those that are, are battling with, with some pretty big challenges. So for that, keep going. For the rest of us, you know, things like headspace and calm, give yourself some time just to be able to uh, think and ponder, write stuff down, ask for help. Like we said in a previous one, failure, it, it is not a, a weakness to ask for help. It's actually a strength. You know, we're all in this together. And I think at this current age and this current time, it's really important that we do make sure that those around us are cared for, are looked after, we stay safe, we social distance and we stay indoors when we need to. But there's plenty that we can do. And with that, I'm going to head back indoors and uh, go back to work. But just wanted to say, um, keep going. It is for easy to feel overwhelmed and stressed, but it's not insurmountable and we're all in this together. So if you need help, please reach out.